Trying a strategy live without testing is like going on skydiving and checking the parachute after you jump. Backtesting, it helps, but it's not the entire truth. Let me show you why. Hi, I'm Pranav VK, an NISM certified trader and trainer, and here my mission at Stockshala is to make your trading simpler and profitable. And today we are going to break down testing 101 and we'll know how to validate a specific strategy before you put your entire capital. And before we start, here's a fun fact. Did you know that the Bombay Stock Exchange is Asia's oldest stock exchange that was started in 1875 by a few people under a banyan tree? Fast forward to today, millions of trades happen every single second. Which is why it is more than important for you to test your strategy before you deploy your entire capital. So in this video, we're going to break down testing 101. But I'll also show you why backtesting can mislead you and why forward testing can help you build conviction. So let's first understand what exactly is backtesting. Backtesting is nothing but testing your strategy on previous or past data to identify how it has performed earlier. But the real thing is that it gives you confidence in your setup, realistic expectations of your risk to reward, and most importantly, you will know whether the strategy is even working or not. Backtesting is like taking mock tests before your exam. You might ace your mock tests, but that doesn't guarantee that you're going to perform well in the real one. So what do you need to start backtesting? Really, you don't need any fancy setups. All you need is three things. A clear setup, a chart with historical data, as well as a journal. Now let's look at a real-life example to understand how we can do backtesting. The first step you have to do for backtesting is to choose a specific stock where you're going to test it out. So once you open that specific chart, the second step is going to be adding your specific setup. Here, I'm going to show you a live example on trend charts. Here, I've taken the example of Trend Limited on a one day time frame. I want to show you how to do backtesting using a simple setup of moving averages. I have taken a simple moving average with the period as 50. Now, we are going to examine how this strategy is performed in the last few days. The conditions are very simple. The condition is as and when the price goes above the moving average, we are going to buy. And if the price goes below the moving average, we are going to sell. Please remember that this is not a recommendation, but just an idea for you to understand how backtesting works. So now we have done two things. One is we have chosen a stock of our choice. Second, we have put our moving averages on this specific stock to test out if the strategy is going to work or not. Now the next steps are very simple. We are going to note the entry, stop loss as well as the target. After which we are going to check if it hit the stop loss or did it hit the target and how many times. This we are going to repeat for at least 50 to 100 trades so that we know if the strategy is really working out or not. It's like checking a batsman's batting average over the entire season and not just one match. So now you know how exactly to backtest a specific instance. But like I mentioned, doing just one instance is not sufficient. So you'll have to do it for at least 50 to 100 trades. But after that, the next step or the next question is, what metrics are you going to track to make sure you know which strategy is working and which is not? Your backtesting must help you track the following metrics. Your winning rate, your average risk to reward ratio, the maximum drawdown, your holding time, and as well as in what market conditions the strategy worked and in what conditions it did not work. Here's a pro tip. Tag all your trades with a lot of context, like whether the market was sideways, there was low volume, or the market was bullish, bearish. So this is going to help you avoid when you're not supposed to be trading. Thanks to technology, now you don't have to do all of this manually. There are softwares that can help you do this automatically and also analyze using the power of AI. Here are some common backtesting mistakes. Number one, 
Traders cherry pick only good trades and they ignore the bad ones. Second, using hindsight, thinking that they would have exited the trade earlier and not at the time that they planned. Third, strictly not following the entry and exit rules. Fourth, testing just 5 to 10 trades and calling it done, which is not sufficient. Here's the truth backtesting isn't about making yourself feel good, but rather it's about getting punched on paper so that you are ready for real life. Here's the catch the markets change. Backtesting showed you if a strategy worked in the past, but forward testing, it shows you if it works even today. But you might ask me, what exactly is forward testing? Forward testing is nothing but using the same setup that we used in backtesting and doing it in the live markets, but with a small change. You either do it on a demo account or with a very small capital. This way, you test out slippage, real-time execution, and most importantly, emotional control. So here's an analogy from cricket so that you understand backtesting and forward testing all together. It's like practicing in the nets first, which is backtesting, after which you play a few warm-up matches, which is like forward testing, before you wake up onto the day of World Cup. So here's a quick recap of everything we have covered so far. Backtesting is nothing but proof in historical data, whereas forward testing gives you validation in the live conditions. Remember to do both before going full capital. Track your data meticulously, your winning percentage, your risk to reward ratios, your maximum drawdown and all the other metrics. No shortcuts, it's all about data, discipline and patience. Don't just trade because you feel good about that specific trade. Only trade when you have tested the data and you know that it's going to work even today. In the upcoming videos, we're going to discuss the most important pillars of trading. So make sure that you're going to like and subscribe to Kodak's Talk Shala. I am Pranav VK signing off and I'm going to see you in the next video. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.